All right, everybody, welcome back to KB Reptiles. Carrie and Barris with you, of course. We are excited to be back, bringing Woo! you guys a video. We apologize, it was a crazy end of 2019 yeah. and a crazy beginning to 2020, but we think we've got everything ready yeah. to go and we're ready to bring you guys back some videos and catch up on some stuff. Absolutely, honestly, we've had everything from family emergencies to kids being in the hospital to just multiple tests and oh, anyways, everyone is good. It's okay now, but it was just a little bit crazy. So we're happy, everything is fine, and we are back at it, and we're super, super excited uh, to really get things going in 2020, yeah. yeah. 2020 started <laughs> off with a bang, guys. We had a crazy, busy expo. Yeah, make sure huge. to check it out, especially if you guys are Canadian viewers, make sure Canadian Reptile Expos, Go check them out. It was awesome. We had a great time. Some amazing vendors who haven't vended in some time were there. And we had special guests from New Jersey. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> RV Reptiles guys, Ryan and Ben, thank you thank so you for much hat. for coming down. We got some hats. We got to talk to them. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Check out their videos of places they came and visit while they were in Canada. And of course, the expo. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, they are going to come back. They promised they're coming back. They were supposed to be here to do a tour yes. and then we had a family emergency anyways. Crazy busy. Crazy, insane, but it's all good. They're gonna come back and uh, we look forward to that. Absolutely. And um, the next Toronto Reptile Expo is happening, just as a heads up, mark it in your calendar, save the date, February 23rd at the International Center. So if you are in the Toronto area, surrounding area, uh, make sure you check, check that out. out. And you can get your tickets online at reptileexpo.ca. Got it. I know, I got it, I messed it up on our live. I got it that time. <laughs> and um, yeah, so please do check it out. And we're gonna be there, of course, vending. Of course. With our good friend Jason Marshall from Jason Marshall Exotics, who gives us a hand while we're doing our, yes. our interviewing, our hosting stuff at the expo. So, um, and we'll be there with Drum roll. <laughs> so of course, we will have the Repta Chip and Easy Hatch Trays now in Canada. So Guys, we are super in excited. Canada, finally. Yes. Make sure, hit us up. You know where to find us, Repta Chip Canada, KB Reptiles 24. We have your Repta Chip. We have the Easy Hatch Trays. Yeah. Make sure, check it out. Yes, absolutely. And it's if breeding you're not, season. I know, it's, it's happening. We don't have any clutches yet, but. Soon. If you can't make it to the expo or you're not in the area, that's okay. We do uh, offer shipping yes. across Canada with? with Reptile Express. So we'll put their information in the description down below yeah. as well. So check them out um, for all your reptile shipping needs and dry goods, of course. So, um, anyways, guys, we're going to talk two about announcements. Two. two announcements. One is going to be the new addition to the reptile family. We're going to show you that in just a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. The other one is brace for it. Yeah. Was that necessary? We are going to Texas. <laughs> it is necessary when you go to Texas. I got cowboy boots uh, packed, ready to go. <laughs> Tickets? No. Oh. I'll get to that. Anyway. <laughs> We are definitely going to the Arlington show that is happening yes. February. Like uh, we're leaving for the 14th, 14th, so 15th, yep. 16th in Arlington. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, is that my gift? Yes. So am I, am I buying the tickets or are you buying the tickets? <laughs> You're buying tickets for me. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how it works. No, I'm just kidding. But we are definitely going. We're going to have an awesome time. We're really excited. Never been to Texas. It's been on our list of places to go. We have some awesome friends there yes. uh, that we're going to go Great probably people. go visit. So we're really yeah. excited uh, for that. We'll be, you know, we'll be vlogging, catching some some video Doing on some that. Stuff. So yeah. So yeah. guys. We are going to get away from this part for a second. Yeah. We are gonna go show you the newest addition to the family, which we got at the end of 2019. And then we're gonna show you some 2019 holdbacks that we really want to Yeah, really they're, proud they're of. growing up a little they're bit. Growing. They're looking awesome. Yeah. So let's go check it out again. Guys. All right, guys, we are back with our latest edition. And yes, if you can tell by this angle right now, we have a male Savannah monitor and we could not be more excited. This has been on our wish list as an animal to add to the KB Reptile Room, and here he is. His name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey is, again, a full-grown male Savannah Monitor. He is awesome. As you guys know, monitors are one of the most intelligent. He is super friendly. He is loves to explore. He loves to check out everything. When we have him roaming in the basement, we couldn't be happier. And we have to do a big shout out to Reptiles Rock Rescue. Tom, you are amazing. If you guys don't know, please go check him out. Tom runs a nonprofit group to help um, animals who need rehoming, who don't get taken care of properly, who need some place to go. Tom does this out of the goodness of his heart. He takes in all kinds of animals, bearded dragons, snakes, monitors, tortoises, you name it, he's done it. Um, we were lucky enough to talk to Tom. He's out of the Ottawa area. We were lucky enough to see him at the Ottawa Expo, Jeffrey. And the monitors are one of the animals that you'll find 
that end up in a lot of rescues. People get them off as small little animals and think, wow, this is so cool. They end up growing into what you see over here, a rather large animal. And people end up oftentimes surrendering them because they don't have the space requirement, the heat requirement, the food requirement that these kind of animals need. So make sure, please, as you know, Carrie and I, as part of our job with the Canadian Reptile Expos, we promote responsible pet ownership. So when you're getting into an animal like this, you've got to make sure you have the necessities. Big floor space, proper husbandry. Also got to make sure you interact with your animals, right guys? Jeffrey loves to come out, he loves to be held. We've taken him to a couple events and really, he is such an amazing animal. So, for example, I'm sitting inside Jeffrey's enclosure. So people often think, that um, you know you can get this small enclosure and then they you know get the little savannah monitor and they're so cute but they need a lot of floor space so you probably can't even tell in here but this is actually it's eight feet long and it is four feet deep and it's actually about three feet high and um, so just to keep in mind if you're looking to get an animal like this you need some space for it when it gets older All right, so we are back in the snake room and we wanted to show you guys a couple of our 2019 holdbacks. Um, we didn't do the whole year in review only because as we said earlier, we were swamped with a whole bunch of things going on. So we wanna show you some of the ones that we are proud to have and keep and breed in the future. I'm gonna start, with some, I'm gonna start off with some females guys and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, this is a pastel desert ghost. We were beyond excited to hatch out Desert Ghost this year into the collection. Um, as you can see, Desert Ghost just brightens everything right up. Um, we, we were told to work with this gene long time ago. Sorry we only got into it now, but we are excited about the future. Again, simple combo pastel desert ghost, but the head on that is totally blushed out. The colors just pop. The black is really black. Super excited to see what we do with desert ghosts in the future. All right, so the next one is one of our favorite genes to work with, Recessive Ultramel. We are stoked to have more Ultramel into collection. 2020, we're looking forward to see what Ultramel stuff we hatch out, but this Mojave Ultramel girl, we cannot wait till she gets bigger. Super orange on the head. Love the way the colors spread throughout the dorsal. The yellows pop. I mean, she is an absolute beauty. She's putting on some good weight, so hopefully in three years, um, we'll have some exciting pairings going on with her. with the Ultramel gene, we have one of the first ones we produced over here uh, that was in a combo form. And this is an Orange Dream Spider Ultramel. Love this one. Crazy head stamp, super yellow on the dorsal, and then you have two shades of orange with the white coming up from the spider. I'm telling you guys, in person, this snake is incredible. She is putting on some amazing weight. Can't wait to see what she does for us in the future, but love, love the Ultramel gene, and hopefully in 2020, you guys will see some amazing combos produced here at KB Reptiles. All right, guys, so on to some pied stuff. Really excited about this one. This one's our favorite line of Xanthic to work with. This is the MJ Xanthic. Um, so it's a pied het MJ Xanthic. Um, she is a little feisty one. Um, if you look around her saddles, um, the color around it is almost like a charcoal gray. We have no doubt that this girl is probably gonna prove out for us, but really excited to see, and in my opinion, an awesome amount of color versus white. and who doesn't like us some clown um, this is one if you watch some videos a while back and when we hit some pastel lesser clowns we were elated and we couldn't be happier she just shed this is a pastel lesser clown she looks awesome she's possible blade as well so hard to tell we'll have to see when we get her to breeding but she is eating like a champ looks amazing that blushed out faded head um, she's a stunner and we're happy to have her in the collection guys enough with the females let's move on to some males for you all right 
All right, to onto some males, guys. We were excited. This one, when we saw it, was stark black. Has still kept a lot of that amazing color. This is the sibling to that Pied Het MJ. This is a Cine Exanthic Het Pied. So again, a Cine MJ Exanthic Het Pied. Um, we are hoping that these two ringers, which you'll see here, in here are gonna prove out pied for us this boy fan favorite still absolute stunner happy to have him in the collection for sure lightning pieds all right guys and one of our personal favorites over here is an od champagne head ultramel paradoxing all over this guy patterns everywhere are different uh can't tell you enough about how in real life the blacks are stark black on this one. The head is crazy. Uh, just the difference in the pattern along the body. Uh, can't wait to see what he does, especially being head ultramel. Um, color pops on this one, guys. And he is getting to that same almost ready to see the females weight. So we're excited to see what he does for us in the future. Again, an OD champagne head ultramel. So on to another of the males that we love and very excited about. Um, this is a Pied Het Ultramel. Um, again, main focus Ultramel over here. I don't know if you can pick it up, but the burnt umber color, which is Carrie's new favorite color, mixed in with the bright oranges. I had to Google it, guys. I didn't think it was actually a color. <laughs> <laughs> Look crazy. So there's one happy face. Turn it around. There's another emoji face. Um, I think the white to color palette on this one is incredible. What a nice combination. And to finish it off, that little tail pattern, uh, you know. The sibling to the pastel desert ghost that we have is just the single gene desert ghost. Um, this guy is stunning. Good big shout out to our friend Will at Royal Canadian Reptiles, who Will told us, watch what Desert Ghost does as it ages. So you guys saw the pastel DG. This DG right here, I'm telling you, they've only gotten better, brighter, color stands out a lot more as they age. I cannot wait till this one has another few hundred grams on it. It looks amazing. All right, everybody, and we're gonna finish off with these two males here, actually. They weren't produced by us, but in our left hand, this one's produced by Will at Royal Canadian Reptiles. This is... Holy... <laughs> this one right here is a butter clown, possible het for something, and we'll let you guys know as we get closer to. But again, butter clown, woo, male, uh, produced again by RCR. Make sure you guys check him out. This banana cine. This was produced by our good friend too, Jason Marshall from Jason Marshall Exotics. You'll see him at the expos helping us out at the tables as Carrie said. Um, again, banana cine, but what a great example. Colors are phenomenal on these two. Not ones that we produced, but excited to see what they do in the future for us as well. All right guys, so thanks for joining us. One more big shout out that we have to do. Miguel, Always Evolving Python. Congratulations, brother, you got your 100K plaque. Big, big congratulations. Well done, well deserved. Um, everybody, 2019 was an awesome year for us. 2020 is gonna be even better. Maybe some more colubrids along the way, maybe some more reptiles, I don't know, but we're excited to take you guys along for the journey. Please stay tuned, and as always, like, subscribe, follow, hit the notification bell. Check us out on KB Reptiles 24, on Instagram, Facebook, and of course already on YouTube. And don't forget, Reptichip, easy hatch trays. You can find us, Reptichip Canada. You'll find us on Facebook, and you'll find us on Instagram. Guys, as always, it's been fun talking to you. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.